Indies women are finding their voices in a male dominated industry. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, less than 23% of head chefs in the U.S. are women, and women only make up 26% of American farmers. As WRTV's Kayla Molander shows us, when women support each other, amazing things can happen. It seemed like every male that was in the industry had their own thing and they really didn't want to share. Chef Tawana Gully had a dream of building a farm to table catering and food prep business. So she turned to Indie Women in Food, a group of nearly 300 women working in food related industries. When you're doing anything with business and food, it's really a male dominated thing. And what Indie, Indie Women of Food does is it, it makes it a softer place. The group held its first conference this week where women could network, learn about other local businesses, and showcase their skills. Ashley Brooks is the co-founder. When we come together and we nurture each other, um, we're just capable of doing really incredible things. And there's just a lot of love in the room behind me. And it's just a really, really interesting space to be in when we're all together. The conference was held in partnership with Butler University's hub for black affairs and community engagement. Dr. Terry Jett is the faculty advisor. Food is at the heart of uh, everything when it comes to uh, being healthy, uh, being able to be creative, um, and just addressing issues of uh, disparities and poverty. Audra Sternberg went to the conference to network and learn. I think it's important for other women to feel empowered by seeing other women be successful and go out there and do it. Chef Gully came to Indie Women in Food a few years ago looking for some help. And today, she's a featured guest showcasing her successful business. And I did it, you know, and I'm the proof that when you have support, women support, when we support each other, it works. We do amazing things when we support each other. Working for you, Kayla Molander, WRTV.